Hello everyone, welcome back to the final IK interaction system tutorial video series. Uh, this one is about the interaction trigger. First, let's take a look at this uh, demo scene that's uh, included in the package. It's called interaction trigger and we can play the scene. So in here you can just uh, walk around and when you get close to an object you can press E to start an interaction. Now as you might notice that you can start interaction from almost any position and any angle relative to the door and uh, this is this is because there is no animation it's, it's all uh, fully procedural done with the interaction system also the same with the button we can press it with both hands we can go and uh, pick up this uh, sphere pick up this rifle here or we can extinguish that uh, cigarette butt or we can also do uh, full body interactions like uh, sitting on a bench now let's go to another scene so I can show you how to set it up on your own in the scene we have basically a very simple interaction set up with a sphere and we can just uh, uh, touch it with our right hand now we need to def somehow to uh, define the range uh, for that character when it's okay for him to pick up that sphere because uh, it really it depends on uh, it depends on the position and the rotation of the character relative to that object in here it's quite okay but uh, you know if, if that character was too far then we would have some uh, problems so first we should uh, create a read object let's do a sphere make it a large one so I can just get rid of the mesh renderers and the mesh and uh, we see we have this uh, collider only game object here so let's add the uh, interaction trigger component and uh, define a range uh, now you see here in the scene view in the bottom left corner you have uh, interaction trigger visualization uh, let's enable show range zero so it will visualize this range for you and it says here character position is not used for range zero so here we have the character position we also have camera position that is for first person uh, for VR and stuff like that so we don't need this at, uh, we don't need that at this point so the character position we first we need to check use then it will uh, use the position and rotation of the character uh, now it says character position radius is zero so we need to increase the radius let's put it something one now it says character position max angle is zero so the maximum angle of the character's rotation we need to increase it now we begin to see this uh, range visualized so at this time we can actually go and rename this to uh, trigger and we can uh, parent it to the sphere uh, the interaction object so it will uh, always move along with the sphere now I can uh, now you see that uh, this uh, current situation here defines the range so that uh, let me just uh, lock it so I can move the character that basically when the character is in in the position defined by that radius here and it's rotated so that that it faces the direction of this uh, filled in uh, range 
then then the character position and rotation is valid and we can uh, start this is the rotation range so we can start uh, the interaction uh, now we can add some offset here so uh, the character is uh, not uh, at at the same position as as the as the object but uh, just away from it a little bit so uh, now I need to adjust the angle offset make it 90 degrees and now we have this uh, more or less uh, good range for the dummy to uh, start the interaction with the sphere uh, let me just decrease the radius a little bit now one thing you need to notice is uh, you will have to make sure that the collider is uh, larger than uh, the radius this visualized uh, range should be uh, inside this uh, collider so I will just uh, increase colliders radius that is because the interaction system automatically uh, keeps uh, account of uh, all the interaction triggers that are in uh, contact with it actually the you see that the collider has been set to its trigger automatically so it will not uh, collide with your character the reason we have that uh, collider here is that the interaction system will automatically keep track of all the trigger colliders that are in contact with it so in order for that to work in order for unity triggers to work we also need to have uh, a rigid body and a collider on the character uh, usually you would have it anyway so let me just add quickly a rigid body set is kinematic so it wouldn't fall and the capsule collider so Now we uh, need to write a little bit of code for the interaction trigger to work. Uh, let's just save the scene and go back to the interaction trigger demo scene. Let's find the character. And here you see that there is a script that controls the interactions. There is uh, user control interactions. Uh, that is a good uh, starting point for you, a good reference on getting started with the uh, coding for the interaction trigger. But for the sake of this uh, tutorial, let's just uh, start from scratch. We can go back to the interaction system tutorial demo scene. Let's create a new script, call it uh, interaction control perhaps and we can add it to the character let's use root motion final IK and let's uh, make a reference to the interaction system component Uh, let's make this uh, GUI function for the demo purpose. Now first we need to ask the interaction system for uh, what is the best interaction trigger that it is in contact with. That means uh, the trigger that uh, range is uh, most appropriate for the current position and rotation of the character. So closest trigger index is interaction system get closest trigger index that's the function so if uh, it is minus one then there are no triggers in contact with the interaction system so we can just return from the function you can also use 
interaction system triggers and range to cycle through all the triggers that the system is in contact with but for now we can use the closest trigger index now also if uh, interaction system is in interaction meaning it is already interacting with something then we can also return with probably don't want to interrupt it with another interaction so at that point we uh, reaching here we already have uh, a trigger that the interaction system is in contact with and we can uh, start an interaction with it so we know that the character is in the right place and the right rotation and it is safe to say that if we press uh, A key then we can uh, make the interaction system trigger the interaction so we use interaction system trigger interaction and use the uh, trigger index for that closest trigger index so basically that line tells the interaction system to start an interaction with the closest trigger that it is in contact with and uh, we set interrupt to false so it would not interrupt any ongoing interactions actually that lines because of that uh, interrupt here we don't even need this line here so let's test out this code little mistake here sorry so we just uh, assigned the interaction system get rid of the interaction system test GUI and when we press E then we can start interaction here with the trigger now we can visualize it better that if we put the label here that in this place where we have a valid trigger in range we can just write Q layout label press E to start interaction so when we have a trigger in range, we should see this label displayed in the game view. So we see that the character is in range, but when I rotate it away from uh, this uh, trigger's range, let me just lock it so we can see better, then uh, this uh, opportunity to start an interaction will go away uh, and the same when I move the character outside of the range now uh, the problem with this is that we probably want to start an interaction with a, sphere, a spherical object from any angle, any approaching angle, so not just uh, this place here so for that we have this uh, orbit toggle here in, in, in the interaction trigger if we enable it you see that uh, it creates this uh, like a orbital range that means that uh, when we move the character you should uh, imagine this uh, valid range here to uh, orbit around the interaction object and also rotate, rotate while orbiting so uh, a valid range is also here we see that we can start the interaction by pressing E and also here so that is the orbit functionality now the fix Y axis so if it's true it will fix the Y axis of the trigger to uh, global 
y-axis, which is uh, vector 3 up. So this makes the trigger symmetrical relative to the object. That is uh, most useful for uh, stuff like uh, weapons and, uh, for example, a gun will be able to be picked up from the same direction relative to the barrel, no matter which side the gun is resting on. So it, it, it can be uh, lying on the ground on the left side or the right side. Also, it's uh, also very useful for stuff like this sphere because when you drop it, it might rotate to uh, completely another angle and because the trigger is parented to it, to it uh, the trigger would also rotate uh, in w weird ways. So, if we check this, fix y-axis, then we can rotate it, but you see that it will basically force it to uh, 2D it will not become distorted. So now let me give you also a real quick look at what the camera position is all about. For that, as I said, this is for first person uh, or VR solutions. So let's just open the virtual reality demos, the interactions this demo requires uh, a VR headset, but uh, at this time we don't need it. I will just uh, show you what this uh, trigger thing is all about. Let's find the button here, it's the easiest. So basically uh, this button uses uh, both character position and camera position. So the character needs to be in the right spot and also the camera needs to be in the right uh, position and uh, rotation. So this uh, thing here shows us how the camera position should be like. And we can edit it here. We have the look at target which is the button object here that the camera should be looking towards that is the direction is the is the zero normal direction if we edit it you see that the whole thing starts rotating max distance uh, is the max distance uh, of the camera from the object max angle is the it defines the angular range for the position of the camera, camera. and also fix y-axis is the same as we just uh, discussed. Uh, when using this, we need to go to the interaction system, find the character. Interaction system. And we see that here we have this uh, triggering uh, section. We have a collider here. We should uh, assign the collider of the character, the capsule collider. Uh, we should also have a camera assigned here, in this case it's the VR camera, and the uh, ray casting layers. That is basically uh, the camera will uh, ray cast just to see if there are any obstacles in the way. There's also the ray casting distance. This should be set to this is the maximum distance that uh, can be ray casted. And that's basically it. So that basically concludes the interaction system tutorial series. And thank you for watching.